Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models, my name is Bob Wardrin and welcome to a Genesis Models Inbox Review. We have Kinetic Model Kits here today, which is their T-Harrier, their Harrier um, T2, T2A, T, uh, T2N, uh, T4, T4N, or the T a two-seater trainer, so uh, nice to see a nice two-seater. Um, we do have what looks like to be quite a few markings with this kit as well. Um, what do we have there? About 10 different markings by the looks of it. So let's open this up and check it out. Um, let's start off with some of our main sprues. Well, first off we have the fuselage section, just give us an idea of what kind of surface detail we've got going on here. Um, now looking at this, I mean, I'm feeling it feels smooth. I know maybe on camera, maybe you might see it kind of has, and from the Mark 1 eyeball, almost looks like a bit of a rough surface. Actually feeling it, um, I don't know if it's because it's really hot in the UK, but do you know what? It feels actually quite oily, right? Um, don't really normally find that so maybe this is one of these kits where you might want to wash the sprues I mean I never really do because you don't need to do it normally these days but do you know what that does feel quite a bit oily so probably a good idea to wash these kits with soapy water um, but yeah looking at surface detail we do have recess panel lines we do have recess rivets um, it is looking you know, quite nice and sharp, um, quite well detailed, um, maybe slightly losing a bit of the depth to those recessed panel lines as we go around to that 90 degree angle. But by the looks of it, I mean, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, it's, it's not completely disappearing like some kids, but may, maybe a slight fading, um, but yeah, lovely detail. As you can see there, not bad at all. Uh, looking on the inside, we do look like we have some uh, a bit of detail going on here. We do have some ejector pin marks, which possibly aren't going to be in the way or visible, but you may have to take care of one or two there. Um, let's flip this around. What have we got? Uh, we've got our air intakes here, which do feel nice and smooth. I'm not seeing any ejector pin marks, which is always good. We've got some nose cones just here as well with nice level of detail going on with those couple little bits and bobs. Ooh, whack the camera there. Um, nice to see no ejector pin marks inside the air brakes. In fact, um, got, we've got some um, recessed rivets inside there as well. So we've got a nice bit of detail um, with that. But yeah, not looking too bad so far. Um, a bit more of our main surface detail. We've got the top part of the wing section, which as you can see, loads of nice sort of um, recessed rivets, lovely detail going on there. Should look techo wash, really nice. Um, quite nice and impressive when you look at it. Um, same with the underside, not too shabby. Um, holes are already drilled for pylons. Uh, flip this over, yes, uh, ejector pin marks, but you're not really going to see them, so no biggie just there. Um, what do we have on this one? See, we've got more air intakes. Um, I do believe this has got quite a few sort of um, different versions going on here, but we have the um, air intake fan just there. We have what looks like to be some sort of um, wheel well detail there. So, that, you know, we've got quite a, a fair bit of detail in there, which should jazz that up quite nicely. Uh, flip this over, we have some cockpit detail, as you can see, um, all sorts of dials and stuff going on with that. We have our ejector seat, which does have a nice level of detail going on with their raised bits and all sorts. We have some instrument display panels Right, which, um, as you can see, we have quite a bit of detail going on there as well. So pretty, pretty good detail going on for this kit. Um, moving along, we'll have a look at the um, canopies in a bit. Um, we have all sorts of pylons. Um, just checking that, you know, it's the same kind of surface detail as the rest of the surface, which it does look like it. A uh, bit of flash going on here. Well, I say a bit, a lot of flash going on here um, in our engine area just there. All this flash that's going on there, pretty sort of hefty flash. 
right it should look more like this but we've got all this going on there um, not a big deal it can be easily cut away but you know that is pretty pretty hefty um, uh, we've got more nose cones here which I don't think that's for this version anyway or is it um, might be not quite sure um, then we have what we've got here some wheels looking pretty sort of plain um, in all fairness um, but apart from that, it's not looking too bad. Um, got some more sprues just in here. There's quite a few. Uh, we have some of our landing gear. Oh, the camera's getting in the way. Let's do that. There we go. Got some landing gear detail here. Quite a bit of complex bit of landing gear detail. Um, not really seeing much flash around it. Maybe just sort of standard stuff. Um, front end of our landing gear as well that's two halves come together um, and we've got all sorts of little odds and sods probes and stuff to go on there uh, a little bit more detail just there um, looking for any eject pin marks in any of these sort of wheel well door areas and I'm not seeing any that comes to light straight away now looking good um, <clears throat> another sprue just here which we have this I do believe is probably mainly the whole um, two-seater version thing going on here because we do have the two-seater cockpit just here this is sort of probably the new tool parts for this kit um, and does look actually rather rather good I'm um, not sure how accurate it is, but you do have a fair bit of detail just in there. Um, we do have um, instrument display panels as well for this two-seater version, as well as um, ejector seats, which, in all honesty, I'm just, I just want to quickly check, but that ejector seat I saw in here, wherever it's gone, just looks way tinier. Strangely, like, is this out of scale? Or is that just me? Right, the ejector seats here compared to these ones just look way, way. These ones look way, way bigger. Kind of strange, but eh, we'll see. Um, I, you know, maybe do a bit of sort of research on that. It might be sort of like different types of um, ejector seats or something like that. Um, but still, looking good on the detail. In fact, the detail looks better on these, if you ask me. Um, but yeah, and then we've got some tail sections here, um, probably different versions. We have, um, I do believe that was a, a new sensor they brought along during its lifespan. But yeah, not looking too bad. Um, we do have a couple more sprues here. We do have loads of sort of weapons, a whole bag full of weapons. I'm trying to speed this up and not get everything out, but the weapons look pretty much the same as the rest of the kit in detail and stuff. But we've got all sorts going on here from sidewinders, fuel tanks, and all sorts of goodies, as well as you've got sort of um, rocket pods on here and everything, which do look good. And um, one of these sort of top bits is probably gonna be the two-seater version or something, um, but it looks like you've got it all there. Um, we do get a little bit of photo etch with this kit as well, which is, you know, rather nice. It does feel kind of nice and thin, so it's not too thick, you know, it's um, sort of good, or good, good feel like um, Eddard kind of standards, but, you know, nothing colorful. Um, Detail-wise, I mean, I'm not seeing like, I mean, the the um, seat belts don't look sort of like the best, but I mean, I suppose it's better than nothing. Um, but yeah, we've got a bit of detail going on there, and there's a, a, a fair bit of it. It's not like a, a gimmick or anything like that. Then we have this massive decal sheet as well just here. Absolutely loads. And they are printed by... Um, cartograph so these decals will work nicely with micro sol and set absolutely you know some of the best decals you can get so you won't have any problems with these um, loads and loads of markings on here loads of really nice it is glossy but you know that's no big deal feels really nice everything looks in registry everything's very very crisp even the small writing is virtually readable really really good decals there top marks um we have the instructions now with this this is the harrier um trainer and uh, a very little bit of a description there on the actual aircraft um plain simple paper all in black and white by the looks of it we've got color call outs for ammo vallejo tamia humbro um, gsi um, nice for them to kind of list them all there 
We do start off with the actual ejector seats as well as the whole cockpit tub, you know, pretty sort of standard. Um, really kind of blown up the actual instrument display panels, which is quite nice, giving some nice color correlates for everything. So um, looks like I've gone into a nice bit of extra detail there than normal. And then we have this whole sort of like moving parts of um, the engine exhaust, which I'm not a major fan of doing that. I mean, these are static models, they're not moving, but um, you know, it's, it's up to you, but they do have that option there. So as you can sort of move those, um, and then we sort of bring that sort of, all the um, air intake sort of things together. And it looks like they want us to sort of build the front wheel well as well before bringing the two fuselage hard together right um, and then it looks like we work on the the wing section I did do a little bit of research I did find that there was a quite a bit of sanding that needed to be done with this kit when bringing in the bottom and the top wing sections together so you might have to sand it a bit just to kind of close those gaps on there looks like your um, ailerons and stuff they can be moved which is um, nice to sort of give it a bit more uh, of a less less of a static pose sort of say um, and then we have the different versions of tail fins, which is nice that they've concluded that for all these different versions. Um, normally, right, with these Harriers, where you normally sort of have a big issue, um, is where the top wing section, this front bit right here, where it comes onto the bottom part of the fuselage section, normally a bit of gappage going on there. Normally you need to do a bit of work there, some sort of fancy filling, uh, filling, sanding, scribing, and all that good stuff. So be aware of that, really try and test fit that first um, before sort of gluing that in place. Uh, then we have all sorts of little bits and bobs, landing gear, um, canopies, which actually I haven't showed you, I'll show that, that you in a sec. Um, and moving along um, all the sort of different weapons. I mean, this is a trainer, so you're not really going to be having like loads of weapons and it being really beefy and stuff, right? But then we have the markings, which is a shame that we've got it in black and white and we haven't got it in color, which would have been nice. But there is lots and lots of markings going on here, right? About 10 in total. Right, really would be nice to have this part in colour, but they haven't. Showing you where all the decals are. I suppose at least you can see where all the decals are going. Um, I know it is in black and white, but I suppose you know they have called out where what colours have got to be and where what decals have got to be. So it will get you in the air, there in the end, but it is just nice to have it in colour. Um, so that was the one thing I can probably say about this kit is you know it would have been nice if that was in colour. Um, did forget to sort of show you the actual canopy so let's have a look at that because a canopy can make or break a kit if they've got nasties on it but yeah we'll have a look and hopefully what you can see just here is from what i can see with a one mark one eyeball oh that is nice actually hold on a second Ooh. do you know what um harriers the one big problem you have with the harriers is you know this um it's the ejection um the thing that breaks the glass, I forget what it is, it's like a bit of an explosive thing, breaks the glass before they eject and stuff, right? Um, that is really well done. Um, it's not like they've made, because I've seen this in the past, it's almost like it's been engraved on there. Almost like you don't actually have to worry about doing that now. I know it was quite a problem in the past, you know, how do you paint them and all this kind of stuff. But that is really nice. They've really nicely engraved that on there, which I, I would literally kind of just leave that as it is. I'm really impressed on that. Even at the back here, you know, they've got it sort of engraved on there. That is a really, really nice touch, I've got to admit. Um, and it's looking really crystal clear, you put up to the light. There's no sort of cobweb effects or anything like that. Um, yeah, I am quite impressed with that, actually. That is, um, that is, that is very impressive because it was a bit of an issue to try and work around that. So all in all, I mean, this kit, by the way, uh, was um, a new tool in 2014. Um, this kit in particular was reboxed in 2017, uh, got some new parts and all that kind of stuff. Now it does retail it around about the 55 pound mark, but it is available in the Genesis model store at 49.99. So um, not a bad price, because I mean, it is a jet. Um, there is a lot to it. There's quite a bit of plastic to it. Um, I wouldn't say it's, um, 
well, to be honest with you, I think it's probably it is probably one of the best probably Harriers out there. I know has a Gary does one, um, but that's kind of getting really old in the tooth. The detail does look good. I know there was one or two areas areas where there's a bit of flash. I mean the eject pin marks not really seeing them in sort of nasty nasty places um this this kind of line of harriers as well there's lots of options out there to kind of get all sorts of different versions gr1s gr3s and all that kind of good stuff i am waiting for them to bring out the um the gr7s and gr9s which would be rather rather nice um and really impressed by the canopies the decals cartographer cannot grumble um so yeah really definitely a big thumbs up here at genesis models for um forget what the manufacturer was now um kinetic model kits is harriers in 148 scale um so yeah hopefully you've enjoyed that hopefully um it's made up your mind about getting it or not but as always until next time my name is bob waldron this is genesis models and i'll catch you later